want to see how I'm making my little houses? All right, if you do, keep watching. If not, turn it off. <laughs> um, I'm just, now this one doesn't have much thread on it, so I might take it off. But most of them, I just left the thread on because, you know, they're really pretty full. Like, some of them are completely full. Isn't that a pretty color? I almost hate to cover it up. Maybe that one I'll just put the windows on it. And then I just take a piece of, this is scrapbook paper, um, Christmas scrapbook paper, and I have a bucket of just scraps, and it's enough for this. So I just roll it around like that and cut a little piece off. And I put some glue I'm using Eileen's um, tacky glue. And I decide which side, well, only after I get this one, that I want on the bottom because I really think, like these are, have the labels, which is really cool. This one is like carved in there, I think. That's really neat. So then I just wrap it around like that and hold it. <laughs> Could use hot glue, but hold that down. Then I was taking the same paper. It's the side I'm using for the house, so I thought I'd use the side for the roof. And I'm just taking, this is a two inch punch. And then I take a piece of this and it says, Joy to the World. And I take my other punch, and I flip it over because I want the white side so it looks, you know, like snow. Um, and then I glue them together, and so if you look underneath it, then you see, like this one's a different kind of um, scrapbook paper. And then I'm just going to take and glue this together, and I want the green side up because the house is the red side. That's a little smaller one. And then I just put it on like this with a little bit showing. And then I take my scissors and cut like cut out a little V. They look like little ice cream cones. And then I get out this punch because I want to make sure I can get in there and this punch I have had since I was a little girl well it was always in my parents desk and it's a diamond <laughs> and I remember using this as a little girl thinking that was the coolest thing on earth it was the only punch we had why we had a triangle punch or a diamond shaped punch I have no idea <laughs> but it's fun okay I just had to make that a little bigger because you're, you're going to want to come up through there. So then I just take it and overlap it a little bit so that it has a little bit of a cone shape to it. So then I just put that together like that and take a clip like this and set it aside to dry. And then... And then, and then, then I have my die out here that I um, ran through my Sizzix, and I'm just picking out some of the, I ran it with yellow, and oops, so I think these make really good little doors and windows, so I'm finding the seam back there, and then I put the, I'm going to put a little door on here, use this one for a door. I was trying to cut these out, and I thought there's got to be a better way. And there was. First, one of them, let's see, this one I used the diamond punch, and that worked pretty good. But I didn't want them all to have diamonds. And, I don't know, windows aren't usually that shape. Then, what I want to do is put... I want to put it together and then glue the hat, the top on because if I don't string the rest through it first, then it it's hard to get it through. So I have a little crystal here, and 
I have some charms here. It's a little Christmas tree. And I have some wire. Well, let me a different color here. Dear friend Candace sent me this wire a couple years ago, and I was so shocked that she sent it to me. And it is just the greatest stuff. It was like a whole set of different colors. And I couldn't believe she could give it up because <laughs> I don't know. There are some generous people out there. Okay, so then what I'm going to do is, let's see, how am I going to do this? All right, so I'm going to put it through the charm, and then hopefully I can fit both these through this little crystal. And I think that's okay with that green through there. I mean, there we go. And then this is first one I was working on, so I'll finish this one. So then I just come up through there like that. And on this one I really should put a bigger crystal on, because this is just a little bigger. So here's a bigger one. There we go. And I love this bottom. It's so cool. And then I want to come up through that you know, rough like this. And then I'll glue that on. And I think I'm going to use hot glue for that. But I want to get this up here. So I think maybe I'll put that other crystal at the top. So that's a fun way to use up some of your charms. And oh, Lordy knows I have enough stuff to use. I should work a little harder in getting it in the middle there. Um, I have some bells too. I should make some with bells on it. Alright, I'll get that glued on and then I'll come back with the, you know, embellishing it. What I did is I took some of these little tiny trees and sequins. And they're really cool because the light picks them up. And I just kind of piled them on top of one another like this. But then when you put another one like over here, it starts to look like one whole tree. Um, up on, some snowflakes up on the roof. Next thing I did was I took some of this liquid applique and <laughs> I went around like right underneath where the roof is, you know, where it connects. I gotta be careful here. Oh, I guess I didn't do it in that order. <laughs> because the snowflakes melted and that's not what I wanted to. So we need another snowflake on there. Ah, poor guy. He just melted. There. Okay, so then um, a couple of them I, I put the snow around the bottom too, but now that I have these foil trees on there, that might be kind of tricky. But I have other stuff that I can use on there. So, but the next thing I did is I took this leaf paste from Andrea and very carefully went like that. Okay, so then I, I have some other um, like snowflakey paste that I could put around the bottom here. I'm going to use some of this white opaque flakes and put it around the bottom. Use this little spatula. I hope there's enough flakes in it. And that's just going to have to dry. And I'll put that all around the bottom. Whoever wins my birthday um, giveaway, I'll be putting a few spools in there. Maybe even one of my decorations. But you have to go back to my December 2nd 
Rolodex card 330, I think it was 336, and say you want to be in it. A couple of people commented it, but they didn't say they wanted to be in it, so I didn't write their names down. So if you didn't say you want to be in my birthday giveaway, go back and and change that. So there you have it. Isn't that cute? I think it's kind of cute. First one I did, I thought, oh, not so cute. But these are pretty cute. I like them. I hope you do too. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.